Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we've got something that's similar, but completely different. It's another external monitor. I've done quite a few of those now, and this is the packaging for it, so it kind of looks super duper familiar. Uh, it just has a model number on it, and that's kind of it. It's kind of a blank slate. But inside of that is the U-Perfect 15.6 inch, 100% DCI P3 99% of the Adobe RGB, 500 nits of brightness. It's a 1080p panel, IPS screen, HDMI, HDR, excuse me if I could speak correctly, and it actually has QLED technology. That is advanced quantum dot color. I haven't had one of those yet. So inside of that box, you do get a nice manual. You get a card that shows you how to plug things in correctly sometimes those can be issues I guess but here we have those sometimes you might need that power supply that you do get with it you do get a warranty card so you can do that you get a USB 3.0 A to C you get a C to C and then you get the mini HDMI cable which is there an HDMI to mini HDMI so that you can plug that into the back of your PC or something like that if need be and you do get the adapter so this USB type C the A to C the USB type A to 3.0 to C plug into here for the power supply you might can power this from your own device just check it out and see we're gonna use my phone to showcase this thing because we already know that you can play games and stuff like that on it. And we know that there's a three milliseconds response time as they claim for this. And you also get dual five watt speakers built into this. That's two of them built into this before I get to carried away, which I've already done. Here it is, it magnetizes to this. If you've used a Microsoft Surface or something like that, then you know that what this is like, same kind of idea. Uh, the whole thing is magnetized on here. There's nothing screwed or bolted down. And so we can take the monitor out and look at how paper thin this is and look at the lack of a bezel pretty snappy it's got a nice little rubber grip bottom here one here and here there's your speakers and there's a power supply toggle switch and a 3.5 jack right there the other side you get two usb type c's and then the mini hdmi input we're going to magnetize this puppy on here. Belug. And in here you can see it stands into one of these grooves right here. Just like so. Just like that. So that's what you're left with. Something really cool like that at a good angle. That you should be able to see anywhere. So now let's just take a look at this monitor. Let's just get it out of the way. This is what we're here for. It's got... Um, 99% Adobe RGB color coverage. It's got 100% of the DCI P3 coverage. This thing is 1080p, 60 hertz, got free sync, got all these options on it. But mainly to me, I feel like it is a editing companion and a must have if you don't have that great of a laptop. If you do have an editing laptop that meets, meets these specs, you're going to pay a pretty penny for that. So this could be a perfect add-on that can go between your desktop your laptop and your phone if you like to run and gun edit on your phone you can pop this thing up and edit with it just make sure you might want to plug it into an external battery pack because you're not going to get the full brightness and the full detail uh, just running off of power from your laptop or your phone or anything like that you're going to need to accompany this thing with an external power supply either the adapter and a wall outlet or an external battery pack so we're gonna look at some photos and my phone is perfectly calibrated I believe the color spectrum on my phone is good it's solid I've uh, gone in there and played with the settings to get it to be as perfect as I can get it and you will be able to see some full 4k out photos with some QLED dense pixel population going on the PPI pixels per square inch I don't know what it is for sure but I know it looks good. And before we look at these photos real quick, uh, make sure I don't forget anything. 500 nits, 
16.7 million 8-bit color, HDR500 technology, uh, QLED screen, of course, and 178-degree off-viewing IPS panel. So the specs on this thing, the slim bezel, is outrageous. These are stakes. It looks magnificent. I wish you could see it. There's a little bit of glare. I can't get that glare to go away down there, but you know, just pretend that glare is not there. There's another stake. Beautiful. The pixel density. There's no blur. There's no pixels that you can see. It is a gorgeous image. It's really amazing for the money. A beautiful night shot. Kind of cartoony, but we're starting to see a lot of colors getting introduced. We'll see some more colors here in just a second. A little bit more, maybe? Still looks good. Looks perfect. Right on the money. And then there's the pop. That's the explosion that we were looking for. You can see all the colors mixing in. You can see the different colors that exist that match up with the phone perfectly. My phone is a little warm on the warm side, just a little bit for movies. But other than that, it's uh, color-wise right on the money. That looks good. Look at all the colors. Look at the water. Look at the rocks, the separation, everything that exists in that full 4 k out photo. That looks beautiful. You got the brightness. 100% brightness is going on with this thing. You can really see that sun pop. All the colors are popping, the reflections, the rocks, all that stuff. And then finally, a beach scene. Looks good. I mean, everything I think I feel is a good, solid recommendation. My phone's connected USB Type-C to Type-C into the monitor, and Type-C to USB Type-A into the wall adapter. But that can also go into an external battery, as long as you're 5 volts, 2 amps or better. Uh, you can get full power out of this thing, which means you'll get the full benefits of the monitor on the go, which is fantastic. This thing is super thin. I think it's 1.4 pounds, so it's mega thin, mega light. You're not going to know you have it. The case almost feels like it weighs more than the monitor itself. Um, it is a must-have if you're doing any kind of on-the-go editing or anything like that. I really love the monitor. It's my favorite monitor now because of the color accuracy the QLED screen the pixel density is there the the colors the vibrant colors and all this it's a workhorse I can use this for editing on my phone which I edit videos I edit photos all those I can do on my mobile device without having to carry your silly expensive laptop just because you wanted that screen well now you don't have to buy that crazy ridiculous expensive laptop right now you can get a pretty affordable laptop just for photo editing and some video light video editing and you can get a color accurate monitor to boot and save you probably half the money you know that what you would pay for an, one of those uh, laptops that offers the high-end monitor you can just get them separate you, you know what i'm talking about but make sure to check this out if you're looking for something like this and make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that down so you get notified of the next cool external monitor that i have and if I get another one that I haven't already done, which I've been able to pull this off, a lot of them, and they're all different, which is really cool. I don't know what else it could be, but maybe there'll be something else pretty soon. See ya.